In this week's Fix the Photo, I'm going to fix a food photo from our members' weekly challenge. Uh, this particular week was on food photography, and there's one image in particular that I think I can make some improvements to. So this image by Marco Campanio looked quite interesting to me, but um, looked a little bit lacklustre, a little bit dull, a little bit dead, not that appetising for a food shot. But I thought, well, maybe it's got some potential if we do a little bit of post-production work on it. So let's get started. I'm going to duplicate that layer. Uh, let's identify the key problems um, with the image. The first one is that the burger looks dead, no life in it, looks very dark. And the beer also looks a little bit lacking in colour, uh, a little bit light uh, for me as well. So first of all, we need to deal with some contrast problems. So I'm going to do this just very roughly and very quickly. I'm going to make a rough selection of the center area of the food, like so. We're going to set a feather on that of, say, 15 pixels. Adjustment layer, curves adjustment layer. And then I'm going to lift the contrast on that food dramatically, pulling in the highlight end, pulling in the shadows a little bit, pulling up the mid-tones, just to add a bit of sparkle in there on that food. I'm now going to add another adjustment for the colour of the lager. So I'm going to get a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to select the colour of the lager, going to plus a few more colour tones in there. Then I'm going to ramp up the saturation. Notice it's ramping it up on areas of the burger as well, but I'm not worried about that just yet. So ramping that up. I'm then going to invert that mask to hide what I did, get a black, uh, sorry, a white paintbrush, and then paint in the colour of that lager back into that glass. We're going to adjust that a little bit further afterwards. I'm now going to get another hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to ramp up the saturation in general uh, across the board, invert that particular mask, and then paint a little bit of colour back in greens and reds onto the burger, onto the ketchup there, just to lift that up to make it look a little bit more appetising. The bun looks a little bit dead, but I don't want to ramp the colour up that much, so I'm going to drop my opacity and my brush to about 30% and just lift that up a little bit on there. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, colour of this lager again, and I'm going to consider shifting that even further. This time, though, I'm going to take a rough... Let's feather that at 15 pixels in advance. I'm going to take a rough selection of the glass. Remember, if I was doing this properly for a client, then I'd be spending a little bit more time. But this is just to show you guys, give you guys an idea of some of the things that could have been better on this shot. That's already got its 15 pixel feather. I'm going to get a new adjustment layer like so. And this time I'm going to address, adjust the contrast in that beer, just to give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more clarity, a little bit more richness, if you like, as you can see there. Then what we can do is we can get another adjustment layer, this time a sat hue saturation. I can use the mask from the previous one uh, and say yes on that. And I can open up that and I can play around with the saturation on that now, or play around with the hue. So if I want it to be more of an ale colour, I can shift that a little bit that way, and I'm kind of happy with it round about there. Now, uh, the, the burger itself needs a little bit more uh, highlights, so I'm going to duplicate everything that we've done bef before and put it all onto one merge layer. I'm going to get the highlight tool, and I'm going to change it to highlight mode. And then I'm going to run that over elements of the burger just to give it more of a 
wet look in places just to ramp up that highlight contrast. Going to do that on the ketchup as well. So the highlight dodge tool, sorry, that just concentrates more on the highlights in the image. So that's lifted up the burger a little bit. This side of the burger is still a little bit dark. I could go in and make another adjustment layer, but while I've got the dodge tool, I'm just going to change it to mid-tones and I'm just going to dodge a little bit on that side of the burger, on the bun of the burger. And then I'm looking at this base surface that it sat on. I'm not so keen on it. I'm going to crop uh, a lot more of it out. It doesn't look totally horizontal either so we might make just a quick tweak to the angle there you can see that's obviously affected the rest of the crop so we'll crop in a little bit tighter we've got an awful lot of space around this shot anyway so no problem there recrop the shot now, the blue background, I feel that could work a little bit better as well. So let's um, go in and adjust the blue. So another hue saturation adjustment layer, select that blue, add to that selection. Don't think there's going to be a great deal of that particular color elsewhere in the shot. So we should be fine. Let's play around with the saturation. We can increase the saturation on that blue. We could shift the color of that blue if we wanted to um, to something that maybe offsets the food a little bit better. Yeah, kind of, kind of happy where it is anyway there, so that's fine. So we're going to roll with that. I'm going to do a rough selection on the base surface. From here to here. And I'm going to get another adjustment layer and I'm going to darken that base surface right down here right down here I'm going to add a little bit of red into it as well just to make that a little bit richer in color maybe that's a little bit too much maybe add a little bit of yellow by taking some blue out of it let's take a look there not quite right but somewhere around there I'm going to create another uh, hue saturation layer. I'm going to use that mask and add it on top of that one. Now I'm going to take the hue. I'm going to play around with the hue of that wood. I think it was in the ballpark. Let's just take the saturation. It's going to look too gray. Lift the saturation up. It's going to be too much, but then I think it's just gone too light. So we're going to take that here, take the lightness down a fraction, go back to my curves adjustment layer, potentially pull it back down a little bit darker, go back to the hue saturation, drop the opacity on that a little bit here. I don't, really don't want that base wood to be standing out too, too much. Now, the background layer uh, has got a bit of patchiness to it, the, uh, sorry, the background behind the product. So I'm going to make a very quick, rough selection of that background. Going to make a new layer of that background and then I'm going to Gaussian blur that background to smooth it out a little bit, say OK, add a little bit of noise in to remove any banding. Remember I'm only working with a JPEG file here so it's not ideal. And then I'm going to look at the opacity of that and just slide it down and off and just see whether we want any of that texture in it. No, I don't. Now some of that Gaussian blur has moved over to my over my subject. So add a layer mask, bring in a black paintbrush at 100% and just work background over that to make sure we haven't got any halo glow over our main subjects. Right, now let's just take all of that Combine it into one new layer, just for ease of flicking it on and off. Let's turn all the other layers off. And let's have a look at before and after. So that's what we started with. 
a rather dead looking burger and lager and then a little bit of photoshop tweaking color contrast burn dodge um, saturation levels and recropping and we lift up the image considerably well i hope you enjoyed that episode of fix the photo if you'd like to enter our weekly challenges our critique shows or our photography briefs then head over to carl taylor education thanks for watching